I've just had a haircut. It's been shaved shorter than Labour's election chances. But they weren't always quite so shit. A long time ago, before minimum alcohol pricing, Scottish Labour ruled the roost, leading the Scottish Parliament and providing the inaugural First Minister, Donald Dewar, who was cursed by an evil witch and turned to stone in Buchanan Street. Following him, they've swapped leads more times than a West End musical, finally arriving at Anis Sarwar, a multi-millionaire who went to private school and then threw his kids there first chance he got. A true man of the people, will he be enough to turn the tide? If Labour do not gain power before this rose dies, they will remain an unelectable beast forever! Jeremy Corbyn tried taping it back together, but like a belligerent infant, ended up making the whole thing worse. But don't take our word for it. Let's talk to some Scottish Labour staffers. Well, I guess we're going to London. London! This is where Labour live, currently led by a knight of the realm, Sir Keir Starmer, Keith to his friends. He's seen his leadership embroiled in controversy as he reshapes his party. We were contacted by a disgruntled Labour staffer who agreed to an interview and supplied us with illicit audio recordings. They wish, however, to remain anonymous. Now then, Phil. Christ's sake! What is it like working under Keir Starmer? Well, I didn't like working for Corbyn because of all that rubbish he offered. You know, state-owned trains, universal broadband and all that. So when Starmer took over, I was... I was very interested. What went wrong? Well, it was many different things that added up. Uh, there was a time recently when he went out campaigning and got into a screaming row with a pub landlord. Get out of my pub! When we got back to the headquarters, he, uh, he fell asleep. He needs to take naps after meeting the general public. You're a bit like Boris Johnson. It's not the only thing that's similar about them. No, no, we're not supposed to go on holidays. But our butlands are off your foot, aren't them? Yeah, fingers crossed. <laughs> oh no! God help me, it's dots. Are you low? Have you seen the latest polling? Now, you know you're not supposed to look at polling. It sets off your anxiety. What do we do? What do we do? Oh no! Here, I know what we'll do. We'll consult with Leader. The leader was asleep at this point. Yes, on his uh, Chesterfield leather armchair he bought while he was a QC. He takes it everywhere. There's this joke in the office they like to play. If Starmer needs to be told something, but he's lying half dead in his chair, they... Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Are you alright? Yeah, I... <laughs> There's just this joke they play where... They take a... A copy of The Sun, which Starmer gets delivered to the office in bulk. Uh, they wave it over his nose, trying to get a rise out of him. <laughs> and if that doesn't wake him up, they tear bits up and they start shoving it in his mouth. Even time. It's so fucking weird. I... <laughs> What the hell's going on here? Why smack a buckle in my mouth? Okay, uh, our polling's in this shit. Your mob promised us would be 20 points ahead by now. What do you think, Sukir? You won't be up for that. The polls are exactly where they should be. And don't call me sir. Tune in next week. We face the final boss of politics. The Conservative and Unionist Party.
Come on, Kaz. Come on, go. 